All right, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Lunar. We here vibing with Twitch, and uh, this video is Thick BBW crashes his daughter, crashes his Thick BBW crashes her daughter's birthday party and does the unthinkable. Okay, fun fact: I went to school with this girl. Me and her sister are friends. Her sister actually, uh, I just took her sister out on a date, uh, after my birthday. Like her sister came to my birthday party and shit like that. Uh, like I'm like I'm tight with the whole family. So this is just fuck. This is fucking insane for me to react to this. Uh, I. I saw this video on my YouTube feed, all right? And so, uh, when I seen it, I was like, ain't no fucking way, is that? Man, hell no. Nah. So, I just want to see what happened. I don't know what happened in the city, but, um, I don't know what happened in this video either, but she has, uh she she like her mental health is unstable and i'm not trying to make excuses for her but i really know her like um she's like really like crazy for real and so like if she's off her medicine you know i, I just hope not I, I don't know i don't know what happened we're gonna watch it but like it just sucked that like it got to this you know what i'm saying and um i want to know what happened because I didn't, I didn't write her sister or nothing I ain't wrote her. I ain't even wrote her sister. I don't. I. I. I I'm gonna just watch it, just outside looking in. I know her baby daddy and all, that, and I thought they was good and everything, but uh, apparently they're not. <laughs> so we gonna uh, watch it. And no, I'm not gonna tell her y'all. Tell her y'all. I'm not gonna tell y'all her name. So y'all not doing none of that. It's over. With. But yeah. Y'all keep calling me ugly and I really don't like that. Oh yeah, y'all got me when y'all call me big back. I got a big back and a Last time I saw her, she was dating her baby daddy, so maybe they broke up. They had to just break up recently or something. Anyway, yeah, that's her profile picture on Facebook, by the way. These ain't no Harachi. 50 flow in Hibachi. I got 10 missed calls. Ballet Park Designer District. I'm going straight to gallery. A few moments later. We've been playing the game of chase people all day. We've been playing this little chasing game all day. Let's stay by I'm me. At the front door now. I'm at the front door. I didn't know that. Somebody's got to come outside. I'm here. Oh shit. She just went inside. I showed it to my boyfriend's daughter. Oh. So you always got a thick BBW with lashes like this that always trying to knuckle up. That's always. Kiki, did you go inside? Kiki, why did you? Oh, shit. I didn't set her name. Well, fuck it now. Uh, Matt, because I showed up to my boyfriend's daughter. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Like, I. I knew she was widowed, dude. I thought they Jay made it seem like it was. Oh, crashes his daughter. That's why I misread it. It was crashes his daughter birthday party and does this. Kiki, why are you fighting her? What? Do, why? So you always got a thick BBW with lashes like this that always trying to knuckle up, that's always angry, that got two or three kids sitting at home. She ain't brought the kids with her. They stayed at home, right? Got on a mission, record. She do got a lot of kids, bro. Recording 
Because Buddy wasn't picking up the phone. Y'all probably got in an argument, whatever. And he's just going to celebrate at his daughter's birthday party. But it, it ain't going to, you just getting straight to the fighting. Just want to keep something going over some dude that you probably taking care of at the end of the day. But somebody said post the footage of what happened. And she, I guess she posted the footage. She wasn't playing around. Let's get into that. Because they say that she probably got duped up by the baby mama. But let's get into it. What? She work at McDonald's, by the way, so she, yeah, she, that's a free meal. So there you have that, just munching and chomping and all this other stuff like that, man. Fellas, I want to say to you guys, watch who you get pregnant. And if it's just for survival, because I know a lot of you dudes be banking on these BBWs to take care of you. You look at them as low hanging fruit. Just know the problems that come along with it. If you're trying to still run the streets, if you're trying to still run the streets, she will catch you and she might do, do you something dirty. There's a lot of BBWs that have deleted dudes because of stuff like this, but I gotta, man, I gotta let this, I gotta run this to eight minutes guys. We got another clip for you though, man. Eight minutes is a long time. Let's get into it. Let's go. He would never leave his wife for you. You do know he's using you. He will never leave his wife for you. You do know that you are a toy that he plays with at his convenience and eventually releases when he's had enough. You do know that you are an exciting adventure outside of his marriage to help boost his self-esteem, restore his ego. Unfortunately, some married men just want to see if they still got him. The worst thing you could do as a single woman is to date a married man that doesn't belong to you. Especially the moment when that man wife called and you have to play dead. You have to remain dead silent as they update each other on how they date with, if the kids did their homework, and if she received a quote regarding the family vacation that they're planning. That man is busy building himself and his family, and yet your job is to lay there, give orgasms, and receive pocket change. Being in love with a married man is a dead-end affair that is filled with nothing but sweet lies to keep you around for his convenience. Therefore, activate your self-respect and leave that married man alone. He don't want you. He's using you for his own gratification. He would never leave his wife and kids for you. Be smart, date smart, too. Baby, I see you turned up, but what you need to understand is that all that is for naught, right? When right, them men gonna keep keeping promises and telling them whatever. Women like being in that side chick thing. I just talked about this. There was a clip I played about the woman who was talking about, do you think he likes his wife more than he likes me? I'm the side chick. What's your thoughts on that? As long as it works out, as long as you benefit, as long as you think, because some women look at it as, hey, I can run the streets, I can still do me, I can still deal with other dudes. He may drop some change on me as long as I know that I'll remain in this pattern, even though I know that I'll never be with him, but I can still deal with him. This has been going on forever and it works for some people. Some wives know about it and they're perfectly fine. As long as they're the wifey at the end of the day, women are competitive when it comes to stuff like this. I've had women write to me telling me about stuff like this and the guy leaves them for the side chick but that's very rare because dudes typically want to stay with the wifey they typically want to stay with the wifey the wifey's the wifey i'm in love with the wifey but i like you as my man said on the previous clip i like you all those things where you being silent as she said you being quiet you sitting there while i'm answering the phone talking to my wife you loyal and people loyalty gets you, you get rewarded for loyalty we all know this. People reward loyalty. You shouldn't punish someone for loyalty. How are you going to punish someone that's loyal to you? So even though you being, <laughs> you're being disloyal to your wifey for lifey, you're going to reward the side chick for that. You're going to pay some of her bills. You're going to put her kids through school. You're going to buy her kids school clothes, all this stuff like that. You're going to buy her a little hoop to ride in. Some men can live their life. And that's another thing, fellas, when like, when, if you don't get no girl with you when you grinding your money, bro, these women be want they 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 found that, bro. They found so a lot of women is perfectly a okay with being a side chick, and that's the crazy part. And that go back to what I say: a lot of women only want the top two percent. Some shoot for the five because they not all that, but the top two percent of men, women want that. And they all competing for the same guy. That's why one dude can literally be like, look, 
I got a girl. I'm not leaving her, but we can rock out. And the fact that he was honest to her, she gonna be okay with that. Remember that. And hell, you can live that life too if you just be straight up shit. It is what it is. Well, as long as the house is clean when you come over, the bed is a soft space for you to land on, for you to handle your business, or for you to desecrate some buns, you all for it. Easy like Sunday morning. Like I, I told you guys before, my mom was a side chick for what, 20, 20 something years, I think, if I'm not mistaken. And a lot of your moms are side chicks for 20 something years. Just keeping it funky with you guys. It's just one of those things. Whether the man is broke or whether he's super rich, some dudes will deal with that same woman. You might as well say it's your other wifey for lifey at the end of the day. But people have a problem with polygamy, but they are basically participating in polygamy by being the side chick. Can the side chick become the main? No. There you go. Wait, wait. No, for sure. Wait, wait, yes. wait, wait. wait. For sure. Why is she, why is she run away? Huh? The side chick can become the main chick, and you're gonna- Damn, that girl grill is fucked up. Why is she, why is she run away? Huh? Oh my God. Look, man, let me chill out. The side chick can become the main chick, and you're gonna go from the woman he was cheating with to the woman he's cheating on. And what kind of mess is that? I don't think that's inherently that's true. I'm talking about not just with your I'm talking about with your heart. I'm okay. yes, okay. I, I say so, no. Hold on, Fonte. First of all, I want to say I'm not making no excuses. You feel right, me? Like right. I'm not making it making the side chick okay. But sometimes men are in situations that require them to be present. Some men got households that they trying to keep uh, keep up. Some men got wives that are taking care of their children, and if they leave her, their kids gonna be up and the side chick the one that they've been in love with for the past 15 20 years i know men who've gone through this personally and when the opportunity came they moved in with the woman who who had their heart you feel me when their kids grew up or when the wife was financially able i'm not saying that it's okay but we got such a stigma about the other woman and how the man value her and how she value herself when you have no idea what the what the bounds of their relationship are and what they building over there chick. You don't get the long-term, depends on what you call a long-term benefit. Cause some of you may say there is no long-term benefit to being a side chick. But if you get your bills paid, if you get your rent paid, if you get a new car out of the deal, you get some school clothes and he gives you an allowance or a stipend, something like that. And I guess you feel like you winning. If you couldn't have kids before and he gave you a kid, I don't know. All depends. <laughs> It's a strange thing though, but I guess one thing a side chick knows, and we talked about this previously, is that there is a certain level of certainty. You know what's going on for the day. This what's up, Virgil? How you doing, my man? This is the arrangement. So things aren't really gonna change with the arrangement. It's that dynamic, that toxic dynamic that makes people fall in love. Anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think. Comment below, like, share. Hey man, people, uh, women, uh, women will do strange things for men certain men bro especially if, if if that if you got that girl heart man a lot of women will be the side chick just because i i mean shit some women some women are at peace when they knowing when they know that well shit he only fucking me and her so hell like she know who you fucking so it is what it is like it's women are strange man women are strange i can't i can't understand it hell it was this one girl that i that i met she only fucked with me when i was fucking with somebody else bro but when i tried to date her or tried to get with her no go but as soon as i'm with somebody else or something like that she want to be man it's weird it's a weird world out here bro um i don't know who the fuck calling me oh anyway youtube y'all like comment subscribe y'all keep fucking with your boy we on the road to 500 we gotta get to 300 by the end of april i appreciate y'all peace out